Hello, Nara here. Welcome back to Path of Exile. We are standing in front of King Kaum's level. So, we will be facing him in a, a little bit. But first, let's do a little bit of a uh, update after the last episode. We uh, no, managed to play through most of Act 4 now. Hit level 39. And we've upgraded our gear a little bit. All of our resists are currently maxed out, with some of them overcapped and actually getting closer to uh, cruel level resistances. Our life 1629, energy shield with discipline aura up 953. So we got just over 2500 effective health pool, which should be nice to just uh, tank a couple of blows here. Um, want with some uh, bonus to damage. Just found this uh, five socketed item uh, before the bridge uh, over here, so quickly went back to the hideout to, to craft it a little bit. Got a decent cold rest, uh, crafted some life. Helmet, I basically had the reverse. I rolled a decent life roll and crafted the uh, cold rest on. For the magic item challenge build, the ideal roll usually, at least in this, this early stage of the game, the ideal roll you can get is one good modifier and the other blank. And then mastercraft the missing modifier on top. That's probably going to cost you a lot less currency than alt spamming it until you get lucky. Um, for the rest, most of the gear is still oh, just a mix of, of random gear. It's uh, not terribly great, mostly just life with resists and all of that jazz. Uh, let's see, Flame Blast is linked with faster casting, definitely helps a little bit. Uh, for control destruction and a chance to ignite, we've got a fairly decent chance to actually ignite things. That's going to be over here. That's a 33% chance to ignite, 1 in 3 will ignite. Uh, that's technically, there's also the 5% chance to crit, so that kind of stacks on top. So, closer to 38%. We have the zombies, but we have downgraded them a little bit. We also have our flame golem with us, and also the lightning golem. Got a nice little four link here with the, the minions as well as minion life. I'm only using the flame golem. Um, I can't get a second golem out until I finish the labyrinth. So, there's that. See, Spell Totem, Scorching Ray, still got that, Opus Storms, Flammability. Once uh, Calm and Dereso are dead, I can get a Curse on Hit, so then I can turn that into a 3-link. Uh, we got a Spare Increase Area of Effect that's just leveling over here, that eventually might get taken up in a link over here. Flame does Faster Casting to just get out quick, and a Vile Lightning Trap. So, now we got a... And a clarity, a discipline, and a decoy totem. On weapon switch, I got a couple of other things that I'm still leveling, but mostly those are in details. So let's see what we can do against King Kong. Okay, just uh, put out a totem, curse him, and then get to 10 and get out, get to 10, get out. Uh, I said get out for me, not for you, Come. I don't want you getting out. Okay. Okay, so... Not entirely helpful this, but... We do have a... Uh, vow discipline exactly for these use cases. Uh, also, not the self. Lightning trap. It, it it helps apparently. Die. Yeah, I conquer. Let's do that. That's you. That is not me. So that was a interesting fight. Definitely not a a, a complete walk in the park yet. Okay, welcome back. We are now in Doresso's dream. Uh, final room before. Oh, let's not stand in the poison. Final room before a Doresso. It's gonna be fun. Also, maybe I should not be thinking so much on my life. Just uh, a nice little step away here. The uh, relative long duration 
until your flame blast has a decent size and power i definitely definitely have a good feeling now for why people really wanted me to have faster casting in the build because without faster casting it's well it, it, it's pretty dangerous actually to play with flame blast because you will be very very vulnerable so, moment of truth. Can we handle Dareso the Sword King? A king of swords is nothing if he cannot defend his crown. He is rather mobile. Let's not go into the swords. They hurt. Okay. Oh. Yeah. No summoning swords inside. That's that's just cheating. Okay. So a foe that has a advantage in mobility, definitely, definitely not our best match. Well, on the other hand, we have a decent damage output. And he does stand still for a uh, duration. So if we just nope, not tank his attacks too much. And we should be fine. Okay, he's gonna remain in Super Saiyan mode for now. That means he's gonna be even more dangerous. Let's uh, go for... Our maximum defenses there. Okay. Not the most elegant of a place, but we did manage to take him out. Lots of running around, don't get eviscerated by the swords. They are the true enemy. Most of the other attacks are slow enough that you can't get out of the way without getting hit most of the time. But another king lies dead, and that means for Act 4, the only thing that remains is Malachi. Completing Calm and Doresso's uh, quest allows you to shop for a number of useful gems the highest end of support gems curse on hit is going to be one that we want to use and uh, what is it here yeah cosmic damage taken that's the other one cosmic channeling could be interesting as well because flame boss is channeling but yeah that's not the kind of build that we're playing here but yeah no if you would want to experiment with that that would be the one. So AOE, flammability, and all of storms. Now is the time to actually link all of this before it didn't really matter. So curse on hit. That means we can no longer directly cast flammability, but it does mean that we can now pull up down a orb of storms and it will apply curses by itself. As well as hopefully triggering our uh, elemental overload a little bit. Cosmic damage taken is going to be uh, the next one to be set up. Cosmic damage taken, I believe we. Yes. Uh, wait, Immortal is not part of the yes. standard setup here, but, 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 but if we take these out and let me have a look. I think these were orbs of alchemy. Yeah. Take care. Elks or uh, Chanseys. So let's go for a Chansey. Actually, let's go for two Chanseys and two Elks. Just have a double check. Then we can go back to Siosa in the library and buy Immortal Cry from him. Tala Moana, friend. Tala Moana. It's Immortal level three here high strength requirement so actually i want to see if we can and bump that down a notch or two another one i was having a look for was uh fate run yeah exactly similar requirements but this time for decks it's again for the defensive setup because then cast from damage taken trigger it uh with immortal call and face run and i believe i had a vortex in my stash somewhere 
to combine with all of this. So let's head back. And nice, it actually cost me chance orbs, not the real fill. Uh, let's see, let's stash that one away. Uh, yeah, did I put the vortex in here? Looks like it. Level 4 vortex is actually the uh, correct level here, so I'll swap that in. And both phase one and immortal call, I definitely want to try and see if I can reduce their levels. Uh, let's see, I've got more regrets than scours, so let's actually use that one. Reset it to level next? one. It's a bit of a waste, but yeah. Because this would drop it down to 79 strength. Closer to what I uh, have. And of course, phase one. Still too high at 79 dex. But that is because I haven't picked up agility over here. So what I'm actually gonna do... 30 would bring me to 74, ah, but still not be enough. Dang. Hmm. <laughs> that is less unfortunate. So we'll actually just hang on to the face run over here. Just plop it down. Do I have another uh, dex run? That I can just link in here as a, a temporary thing. Didn't I get a, a temporal change? That is green. Temporal change is green. Putting a defensive curse in a cosmo damage taken setup is not quite a bad idea. Because it will just slow things. And the fact that they are slowed means that the ignite will actually last longer on them. So there is a benefit to that as well. So let's have a look. We can move our discipline over here. If we get another socket, we can move one of these over there. But I got a feeling I am one item too far. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Actually, this is the time where the zombies will leave us. Bye bye, zombie. Uh, like that. Zombies are gonna leave us. Then we will have Spell Totem, Scorching Ray with the two minions. That's gonna be one of our setups. So we need two red, two blue for the Cosmo Damage Taken. We need two red, a green and a blue. And we no longer need uh, these gems. This is for the weapon switch. So for now, we'll actually just uh, for or link all of this. Four sockets, boom, and cosmo damage. So indeed, it needs to be four linked as well. And then we need at least two red sockets. And you get it with green, of course, because blue requirements okay that is gonna be one setup like so oh wait now my golems are linked with spell totem yeah so we actually need to break this we just need a 2 plus 2 link that is a little unfortunate Okay, this one is already linked. This one needs more sockets. Uh, nope, you can't add more sockets while you're crafting it. Like that. This is just for a... Loose set of things. Uh, let's see. Put uh, that one in there. Then we had... Something else to move, didn't we? Well, of course, we got rid of the minions, so we don't. Okay, we need to cut uh, this one. So let's actually do that. We can break this with a fuse. The four socket items you can break, the five or six links I don't think you can break. This is the one, almost the one we want. Want them up and down, but the links always snake through, so we need the colors to be different, don't we? 
because it's spell totem and scorching ray like that because the links they they won't go they will always snake through so that means we definitely need to reroll the colors that is gonna make life more annoying okay Two reds, two reds. Where's two reds? Two red sockets. Maybe I should put it in. Definitely at least two reds. And then I am out of currency. That is one of the downsides. Okay, so. A red and a green can i try that no nope. that's the, the downside of going for some of these off color rolls it really becomes difficult to actually get what you want um, two reds two blues so if you take temp change out we link them then for now we'll just go with what we've got so put the cards and damage taken in here so cards damage taken immortal call vortex and what else put in what else are we gonna put in some nice curse do we have an feeble or something Raging spirit, I summon spirits at you. The thing is, they don't really attract aggro, do they? For the fun of it, oh, you can't actually do things that summon, so can't even get the SRS. Nor the zombies. Oh, you can summon your golems with it, so. No, but the level requirement is too high, so that doesn't matter. Do I have an arctic breath? Uh, no, but that's a green skill as well. But, uh, there's a bit of a downside, of course, to not quite being able to fit what you want to it. At least we got a vortex. Uh, we'll leave it blank for now and then we'll deal with it later. The other one Scorching Ray, Spell Totem, Lightning Golem, Flame Totem. So, what if we mix things up? Um, what if we try to get just a single red one on here? Because then we can just put it in a separate link. This we can make work. Like that, exactly. Sometimes rephrasing the problem you're trying to solve actually helps solve it. So instead of looking for a specific item that has a red and a blue and a red and a blue, try to divide it amongst two items and it suddenly becomes a lot easier to roll those things. So red John, Fire Lightning Trap. That one, then we can even put minion life back in here. And hey, increase. Anyway, we can actually start leveling it now with the vortex. So not all is lost here. Hello again. Time for piety. Be happy for me, sister. It's not often we get to erase our failure. Set you on fire. Make sure I don't get hit here. 
Okay. Wow, she's on fire. Hell yeah. What kind of tempest do we have? Lightning. Or arcane. Honestly, I have no idea what the arcane one does. Okay, so the mental damage and cast speed. Something. Okay. I think I need to get hit once more just to see what the hell is happening here. Tempest. Oh, Tempest. Because, well, shock everywhere. Not a great plan. Really not a great plan. This is going to extend to the Mal Malachi fight, right? Yeah, I don't think I'd like that, to be honest. Gain 10 life over second because... Oh, wow, this is just a built-in life sprig. Thing is, I'm not a rapid caster with this one. Um, actually, more of a... Slow janitor. Oh, silk slippers. Oh, others. Another pair of others, I might add. Face breaker. It's not legacy. On the other hand, I have found neither exalted orbs nor reliquary keys this uh, this leak. So I'll just settle for finding a uh, face breaker, the old-fashioned way. Well, that was rather nice. Facebreaker. I like him, though this is a pretty low end roll. 626% more uh, unarmed physical. I think they go up to 800. 6 to 800. So this is definitely on the on the lower end of the of the scales. But hey, it's Facebreaker. Facebreaker is cool. So, Golem's up. Maligaro. Yeah. I hit you with the rhythm stick. Okay. This guy always does a fair chunk of uh, damage. Quite a large chunk of it being a chaos. Yeah, gotta be careful with them. I hate to be critical, but I've seen better. I think Chevron is gonna be the easiest one. Okay, so we're gonna end with that. Let's go to the address right now. Okay, let's just not get hit here. Ooh, oh. Grab that, then get out. Totem. Nine, nine, ten, and then out. Ten, and then out. Uh, she's barfing way too many projectiles. Right, wait. On the other hand, she's gone now. So, that fixes that. Oh, Doedry. We witches have to have some standards. Such lovely material. So, so pretty. Oh. What a gorgeous fighter. Boom. I think. Was that a one hit? That might have been a one hit. And that takes us back over here. I'm not sure if Tempest will spawn in the uh, Malachi fight. Definitely is going to make for a more interesting fight if that is the case. So let's try this. If things look too grim, I will build and try something else. Go back in without Tempest, for example. Okay. Here you can dance. Okay. Can't team my crits, yes please. Piety as well. That's a little unfortunate. Now exile. Okay. Let's just don't stand too close. Okay. Yep, she becomes all nasty. Not so, simply not get a hit too much here. Now exile. Yep. Go. 
Okay, just gonna portal back out. Okay, sinking into the ground. That gets us some time to channel because we know where he's coming from. Oh, that's not st standing there too much. Brace the future. Well, don't think you are the future, mister. Yeah. Okay. So, so far, so good. As I said, we have plenty of space to walk around here. The next fight down there is going to be a little more, let's say, interesting. Who'd have thought you'd be so suited to the role? I was convinced I'd made a fatal mistake in sparing your life in Axiom Prison. Fatal, yes. Now, let us see if you truly understand what it means to be nightmare. Okay. This also seems rather merciful. You oh, um. selfish. The you are being shellfish is something that you can't ever un unhear once you've heard it. Even though he's actually pretty pretty clear in his pronunciation, he does say, you know, you're being selfish, not shellfish. But once heard, can't be unheard. Oh. Okay, must admit. A little more. Um, a little more intense than I would prefer this to be. Yes, got him on fire. Good. Um, okay. Next heart. Uh, get a gout. Uh, we managed to get it, right? Yeah. Okay. Channel, 10 stacks, good. Okay. Definitely exciting this. Okay, he's gonna pop up again. Yep, there, boom. Just channel you, ah, get your tentacles off of me. You're still a creep. Okay. Okay, that heart is gone. Oh. Mm. Ah, released it too early. Um, let's put a totem up there. Get out of there. Oh, walked into that one. Ooh, that one went off nicely. And we got it. Wow. Malachi is dead. Oh. That was fun. Split. It's really not so bad once you get to know it. And that helps us conclude a normal difficulty. So from here on out, we'll be heading into a crew. Uh, we got a Izaro to do somewhere. But we'll see about that. So for now, I'm gonna thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.